CNN is learning tonight that the president's lawyer, Michael Cohen, was provided secret information about House Intel Committee testimony from another witness. And there is a lot more breaking news tonight on the Russia investigation. Joining me now, a member of the Intelligence Committee, Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell. Congressman, uh, good evening. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, another evening, individual Don. with ties to the president is cooperating with Robert Mueller's investigation. George Nader attended meetings during the presidential transition between uh, the United Arab Emirates and uh, Trump associates and is now cooperating with the special counsel after being questioned by the FBI back in January. What's your reaction? Well, I'm, I'm excited uh, for our country's sake to see the FBI so doggedly pursuing these witnesses because it's the opposite of what we're seeing on the House Intelligence Committee. But, Don, this shows that the only way to get to the bottom of this is that you have to do a lot of work. You have to subpoena records, travel records, bank records, communication logs, and then you can confront a witness, and then you can get their cooperation. And it looks like that is what has happened here. I also just want to add, Don, I am wondering if Eric Prince was straight with us. You go back and read his transcript. I don't remember hearing anything about him talking about George Nader when he testified to the House Intelligence Committee. So I want to maybe bring him back in if, if we could to clear that up. But also, is this another example of the Trump family seeking to enrich themselves with their dealings with foreign governments? Uh, it looks, it sure looks like it. Yeah, and the reason is because he apparently attended a meeting. It was in the Seychelles that also was attended by Vladimir Putin, Eric Prince, uh, who is Betsy DeVos's brother and an informal advisor uh, to President Trump. Again, you know, if, if this story is true, Eric Prince, I think, has uh, further explaining because in his testimony to the House Intelligence Committee, he said that he met with the prince from the UAE and he met with a Russian banker. That was it. Uh, and so if there's more to this, it wouldn't surprise me, Tom, how many individuals have not been straight and have lied about their contacts with Russia or surrounding uh, Russians. Uh, but it just shows that if we're not willing to subpoena these records, we're not going to get the truth. Yeah, a Russian close to Putin, I should say, not Putin, a Russian right. close to Putin. Listen, appearing alongside the Swedish prime minister earlier today, President Trump was asked about Russian meddling in, 20, in the 2016 election. Here's part of what he says. Watch this. Well, the Russians had no impact on our votes whatsoever, uh, but uh, there was meddling and probably there was meddling from other countries and maybe other individuals. And I think you have to be... Uh, really watching very closely. You don't want your system of votes to be compromised in any way. And we won't allow that to happen. We're doing a very, very deep study, and we're coming out with some, I think, very strong suggestions on the 18 election. What is your reaction, Congressman, when you hear the president continue to waffle on Russian interference uh, on our election? Uh, no, there is probably no other country that worked to undermine our election. It was Russia. It sought to help Donald Trump, and if that you know, affects his ego or affects how big he thinks his win was, I'm sorry, but we have a democracy to protect. And if he didn't do anything wrong, the best thing he can do is to just cooperate with the investigation and to impose the sanctions that are already in place against Russia, to tell every one of his intelligence chiefs to do everything they can to defend against Russian interference and unite our country. Because a lot of, I think, the Republican obstruction that we see on the House Intelligence Committee is because of behavior we see at the top. He has an opportunity to unite us so that we have a stronger shield when we go into this 2018 election. CNN is reporting tonight that an attorney for President Trump's personal lawyer, uh, Michael Cohen, was provided with secret information uh, about House Intelligence Committee testimony from another committee witness. What do you, what do you know about that? Uh, well, Don, you know, either you're working for America or you're working against it in this investigation. We've seen prior leaks uh, from Republicans to the Washington Examiner where they're reporting before we even learn about witnesses or evidence in our investigation. Last week, the Republicans did not deny reports that they had leaked out uh, Mark Warner's text messages. I can't say too much about this. Uh, but again, you should be working to protect America. We should all be doing that. And if you're working to give witnesses, in this case, uh, information, that hurts our investigation and our ability to protect the ballot box. A spokesman for the leading Republican on the investigation, uh, Representative Mike Conaway, told the Daily Beast this, and this is a quote he said, uh, any accusation that a witness's testimony was shared with another witness uh, of their lawyer is unequivocally false. How concerned are you that someone from within the House Intel Committee could be leaking a key, uh, leaking to key uh, a figure in the investigation, to a key figure in the investigation? I hope Mike's right, 
I hope it's false. Uh, but, Don, we've already seen a willingness by the Republicans on the Intelligence Committee to give subjects of this investigation evidence. That's what they did with the memo. When they turned that memo over to the White House, the president, the president's lawyer, they showed them evidence that existed in the case that they did not know about before. So, again, either you're working to protect America or you're making us less safe the next time we go to the ballot box. I still think there's time for all of us to work together on this and put aside the partisanship. Thank you, Congressman. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Time. Thank you. When we come back, a porn star sues the president, a top economic advisor calls it quits, and the president's personal lawyer now caught up in the Mueller investigation, and that is just the last mm, few hours. More on what President Trump calls great energy at the White House next.